50 Best Not Safer Work Life Hacks According to Reddit Number 50 If you're gonna send a dick pic, hopefully to someone who actually requested it, do it right. The photo should include more than just your dick. Thighs, torso, something requiring you to pose or do more than just be hard. With good, soft lighting and maybe something more subtle than the hard close-up, your jeans pull just slightly down your hips, fly partially undone, held open by your thumb, with just a portion of the shaft revealed, yum. A full body pose that showcases your entire physique, if you can pull that off, where your dick just happens to be in it, not front and center. The view of the tent your dick makes, dick under the sheet, photo from viewpoints above the sheet, maybe something um, showing them abs. Jesus Christ, is this a gay man? Just telling you how he wants that dick and his, his, his preferred, uh, my God, Stripes, you're a freak, okay? So you want a dick pic from a man. Uh, do you want anything more than dick? Is, is this what you're re requiring? I mean, no, but if you hold a quarter next to it, that'd be fine too. Just for scale. Quarter, quarter for scale, quarter for scale. This PP's got what ails? Wait, it, this PP... Uh, what? Fuck this. Number 49, okay? <laughs> Always pee in the shower. Peeing on your feet, even with just a few seconds exposure to the urine before it is washed away, is enough to kill, prevent athlete's foot. Did you know that? Peeing on your feet prevents athlete's foot. Wow. No. So this is an extra list today. I know some of you are realizing. Special thanks to Griffin Gaw, the reason that I'm doing this extra list. Because he made a sexy little donation and requested specifically that stripes be included in more lists can you believe that yeah and here you here you guys thought everybody hated stripes oh huh, wow if you like stripes leave a comment in the, the comment <laughs> section below and if you hate stripes leave an even more passionate comment in the comment section below i look forward to reading those okay wait what? you say that like if you plan for me to be in this list because he said something when i remember you pulling that up after the fact zero this is just a happy accident i think no it wasn't a happy accident i read that 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 request that he made before asking you to be in the list oh you thought that i saw it after i was planning to do the list with you stripes you silly silly you poor thought... thing you're all like oh <laughs> I thought you wanted me here. Number 48, suction cup dildo coat hangers. Hang them everywhere or anywhere. That's just a life pro tip. I read a horrible story about that once. Is this the one where like, oh, where like the-, the... It's a big dildo and it says, this thing almost killed my grandma. First off, this thing is huge. I didn't realize it when ordering. But when, but when everyone left the house one day, I decided to give it the old college try. The suction cup works well. I had it stuck to my bedroom door. Okay. So when trying to use this, it was really big and awkward. I was trying to back against it, slowly letting my butthole adjust to the massive width. That's all I got going on too, is my girth. I had my iPod listening to Eye of the Tiger trying to get pumped for the whole thing. Well, I didn't hear my grandmother come home early and apparently I was making some noise rocking back on this mega dong mounted on the door and singing along to the theme song to Rocky, rising up from the challenge of our rivals. Well, my grandma comes to investigate and jerks my door open, which snatched the toy out of my butt, bringing my sphincter with it. What? My grandma freaks and slams the door, which power drives this thing up my anus all the way to the base. Ah. I'm screaming in pain and my grandmother is yelling, holding her chest. Next thing I know, she collapses. So there I am with a bleeding prolapsed butthole 
and my grandma on the floor in so I'm in so much pain and I'm freaking out worrying that I've killed her. So I crawled over to her and pushed her life alert button to send the, for the paramedics. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know they still made those. I remember seeing the commercials. Jesus Christ. One of which was a new guy, and then I tried explaining the story, and he literally pissed himself laughing. Anyway, they popped an ammonia capsule and brought my grandmother back. She seems okay, but we haven't made eye contact for two weeks, and my butt is a little worse for wear. And when I fart now, it sounds like the Peterbit 379 releasing its air brakes. Oh my god. Can what? I get a sound clip of that? Listen, listen, what a story. <laughs> Number uh, 47 here. Semen is a base. If you have heartburn, just swallow some baby batter. Ooh, yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, now you know. If you got that heartburn, a little bit of semen will get it done. I'm sure you have that in your daily diet. Mm, stripes. <laughs> Moving on. 46. Put coconut oil after you shave down below. Interesting. Lube is always a plus during sex. It doesn't mean a girl isn't attracted to you. Okay. Use a condom if you do anal for obvious reasons and also preventing utis. Uh, uh, utis. What's utis? Uh, 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 utis. Uh, wait a minute now. Utis. utis is that utis, is that some kind of disease? Is that dance that goes like that? Utis, 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 utis. Sorry. You wouldn't want that while you're having butt sex, would you? <laughs> That'd be awful. Also, I don't want butt sex. So. Nobody, I don't want butt sex either, man. No, no butt sex, please. No. Number four, shower sex isn't easy. Man, it can work. Number five, if you aren't circumcised, make sure you pull your back, your foreskin, and clean underneath. Who doesn't do that if they're circumcised? What the bing bong? Number 45, keep disposable plastic gloves in your glove box. Hey, that's why it's called that. And be sure to put them on before you murder someone. This is true. I mean, guys, stop making amateur mistakes. To be honest, if you're going to murder somebody, uh, I hope that you spend a, a couple of months, you know, thinking about it and putting some shit together. Because we as human beings are pretty disgusting. And I say we like trying to pose as one of you guys, but I'm not like one of you. I find you guys simply fascinating the fact that you guys secrete like fucking mucus and fluid so consistently like oh you're hot and i'm perspiring now or the you're fucking secreting oil so ridiculously that you can't touch anything without getting your fingerprints on it think about that think about the fact that you people secrete so much nasty shit that you can't physically put your hand down on anything without leaving an imprint what's wrong with you people you and your limited lifespans hello stripes i was just wondering what do you call penis lint again penis lint you mean dick yeah. cheese? No, there's another word for that. I just can't remember it. <sighs> Stripes wants to know what penis lint is. Penis lint. Oh, no, we can't type that into the internet. You almost got me. <laughs> we can't type that into the internet. Here we go. Okay. Number 44. This works for those trying to look submissive, especially in pictures. Trying to look innocent? Open your eyes wider, not serial killer style, just a bit more than normal. Position yourself so that the camera other party is looking down at you. Aww. Yeah. Physically look down at the floor between you, but raise your eyes to look at them. If you have glasses, your eyes should be above the rim. What is this, like, advice from Littles trying to seem like, you know, kawaii and innocent? And oh my What's gosh. That? What? What's a little? Don't fucking play Stripes. Stripes is constantly on that bullshit, you know? 
Sometimes I don't know if she thinks that she's helping me, like, explain something. Like, my response is supposed to be, why, I'm glad you asked, Stripes. You know what I mean? So, we can go on this bullshit. <laughs> or if she's literally just, like, pulling legs. And I think that's Stripes' MO, man. She's some kind of perpetual leg puller. Number 43, don't cockslap your coworkers. Most of them won't appreciate it. Most of them. Number 42, if you really feel like you're going to fall asleep at the wheel and nothing is working, masturbate. Make sure only to the edge, okay? Because if you get all the way there, you're going to be out like a lion. You like that tongue noise, Stripes? Don't do it again. Don't do it again? No. You're going to be out like a lion. Ugh. That one was better. <laughs> <laughs> How do you uh, these? Where, where do you put these on a scale? On a scale from... You forgot, like, I got the African, that's the, the tongue click. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I cannot believe you went there. I cannot believe you said that. Okay. Jibongo. We do we do not use tongue click down by the river. <laughs> oh, lo, lo, le, le. <laughs> Stop. Please. Who do you think you are saying that to? Okay. <laughs> My father is the Black Panther. <laughs> the superhero the black butt <laughs> gotta make it clear gotta make it clear he's not just any black panther okay number 41 chop the limbs off that body chop the limbs off so that body could fit in the poly barrel you guys can't just be dumping body parts in acid guys you get, that's another thing. Like I said, you guys want to plan your murders, man. It's DNA City. And not just your DNA. The, the victim. D disposing of bodies is the real fucking... Like, if we... Guys, if we had the ability to teleport, the f it wouldn't be a day before we were using that thing to dump bodies. You mean getting paid? To use that ability to dump bodies. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about physical, a man being able to just teleport. I'm talking about, like, if we invented a machine or could harvest some m ability to create portals or something. You get what I'm saying? It wouldn't yeah. be a day. It wouldn't be It wouldn't be a couple of hours where somebody was like, all right, look, we got to get rid of this body. This motherfucker's pissing me off. And how do they, how do they, how do they incriminate your ass when, when the person's just gone? You know what I'm talking about? Why well, we talking about murder so much, guys? Wait. What if what if the NSA is listening right now and they're like, why are you talking about murder so much? This isn't funny. Number 40. You know? I, I just want to know your opinion. Do you think acid or incineration is a better way of covering your tracks? If you have access to a big enough furnace in which to d incinerate a person, are you kidding? Done, son. Ashes to ashes, son. Are you kidding? Well, there you go. That's going that that would make you fucking suspicious as fuck if you had some manner of giant furnace, though. <laughs> you know, that's the type of thing that people with money build in a basement, or, or you know what I mean, in a bunker or something. They build something to burn them bodies, son. Just sprinkle that DNA right all over the atmosphere. Remember Kyel? He rains down upon you. Justice rains from a number 40. Okay? Okay, so you want a blowjob every night from your girlfriend or wife? Get nicotine patches. Every time you get a blow tie, a blowy, stick the nicotine patch on her ass while she sleeps. Take it off before she wakes up. Before long, she is addicted to nicotine and the only way to get it is to suck your oh. dick <laughs> that is awful yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a joke this it's is gotta be fucking a joke. beautiful dude Jesus Christ Jesus Christ can I make this its own video please stripes why it's a single comment I don't care it's the rudest thing I've ever read it's the rudest thing I've ever read so, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video called How to Get a Blowjob Every Night. It's gonna be like a 40 second video. It's gonna be me reading this fucking clip. Holy shit. Number 39, guys. Avoid bedroom injury by being married to someone who refuses to have sex with you. There's a, there's a there's a subreddit called Dead Bedrooms with 50,000 subscribers. That's sad. I love these people on the sub. What the fuck is <laughs> this? Is this advice? I think it's someone saying that they're 27 years old and they just got out of an eight year dead bed, dead bedroom marriage for 1.5 years. They fell in love again, had sex on the beach, had their first threesome and even got pegged. They got a dildo oh. up the butt. Very not safe for work post. I have to brag some. Sorry. Just wanted to give an update of my life of the past two years for all of you guys, especially younger guys, that are afraid or feel guilty about leaving your your partner. So February 2016, my girlfriend of eight years did what I wasn't strong enough to do. She left me. We were together for eight years and declined into a dead bedroom over the last two years. She realized I wasn't happy anymore and nothing we tried worked, so she finally left. I came home from work and her and her parents were waiting for me and all her stuff was already moved out. I was initially devastated but quickly realized how unhappy I actually was and tried moving on. I had a lot of random hookups. Thank you, Tinder. Ew. And that was amazing for a few months. Pinning girls against my car within moments of meeting them. Uh, fucked a girl on the top story of a parking garage. Got ahead in an alleyway right off the main strip in a college town. Had sex on a beach. Fucked while driving on the highway. It sounds safe. Hooking up in theaters again like a teenager. Sex in a park overlooking downtown Fort Worth. Found a girl who could squirt 20 times in two hours. Explored many of the kinks that my ex found disgusting. BDSM, rape role play, rimming, sleep play, age play. You're telling me that there's sex that's pretty much not rape role play? Because I don't know any other type of sex, baby. Kyle facts. Then I fooled around and fell in love. About two months after the breakup, I met a girl that I really clicked with. That's a snapping noise, Kyle, not a clicking noise. You want me to get the, the you want me to get the, the mouse real close to the that I really clicked with. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, I knew that would get stripes. I knew she'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> we were both recently out of a crap relationship. Like we each other. What? Like each, we liked each other, but we're scared to commit too soon. Bing bong. We decided on an open relationship, took a short vacation together to the South Padre Island and quickly fell in love again. I pulled back initially because I really didn't want to be in a serious relationship ever again, but it's been over a year now and, and I can't even begin to tell you guys how much I care about her. She fell asleep, holding my cock every night. And when the ex would touch it once a week, Max, she sends me snaps of her perfect titties anytime I ask. Oh, they get along. She is a real sweetheart and most unselfish person you'll ever meet when the ex put herself first always. She has tried almost every kink I have and we have really grown together. Two weeks ago, we bought a strap on and she pegged me and to be honest, I liked it. I could never, ever, ever bring that up to my ex. Last week, we did my biggest fantasy ever, something every guy dreams about. She's been bi-curious for months now. We finally found a girl for a threesome, and guys, it was magical. Man, never again, dude. That is not something I'm, I'm just interested in anymore. Seeing this 22-year-old girl grinding hard into my girlfriend while moaning you're so fucking hot is something I'll never forget.
Are we done here? No. We had three hours of fun, ending with the girl 69ing while I fucked my girlfriend. The other girl licked my bowels as I came, then pushed me out of the way so she could suck the cum out of my girlfriend. Some fell on her neck, and then my girlfriend comes and licks it off her. Like, what the fuck kind of porn star life am I living right now? I'm glad that this is a great experience for him. Two years ago, I was jacking off into a sack as my girlfriend slept beside me, and I told myself breaking up over sex is immature and selfish and not real reason to leave someone. Isn't that sad, Stripes? You know, that somebody can be genuinely unsatisfied and then convince themselves that, you know, they just need to roll with it because this is what life should be. Life should be something that you enjoy. Not every moment, but obviously not something that you just accept as something that's not enjoyable. Holy shit. Oh, fuck that, guys. The girl you're with right now is not as special as you think, and sex is important. It's a huge part of the relationship, and without physical touch, you're not going to be happy no matter how much you tell yourself you will. Ooh, bing bong. Now... I had no ties to my ex, no kids, not married, but I thought she was the one, so I sat for two fucking years in pain feeling worthless and unattractive. Fuck that. I was so stupid. Don't make that same mistake. You will find love again, and you'll realize how poorly you've been treated up until now. I, I just died in your arms tonight. She fell asleep holding my cock. <laughs> Just. Oh my god. We're never going to get through these lists if I stop if I keep up with the bullshit. This is all well, for Griffin Gaw. Do you think Griffin Gaw is even going to watch this video? What if Griffin Gaw doesn't watch it? What if he watches it in like a month and then he's like, "Wow. This was for me." Oh my god. <laughs> what if this isn't what he had in mind? He wanted you. I know, but what if the topic isn't his jam? I don't know, then he can send me another request. I'm always asking people for requests, you know? I really do want Chinese food tonight, Stripes, which means I'm gonna have to do something to get some kind of donation on the PayPal so that I can then uh, try to get Uber Eats to deliver to me because I went, I put my address into yeah. this shit called Grubhub, which basically shows you who's closest to you and who can deliver things to you. And it was like, sorry, bro, no results. And I was like, excuse me. Excuse me? What, what do you mean? You really do live in the middle of nowhere. Look, That's man, terrible. it's a great neighborhood. It's just like, I guess nobody comes here. I guess nobody's supposed to come here. I'm buried in the heart of like a village. This is like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. And if you walked around outside, you'd probably get scared. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. People come what? over and say, hey, what's going on? Huh? Yeah, you all right? Have you met your neighbors yet? Oh, are you kidding? I can't go. I can't go outside the pressure washer or mow the lawn without like them coming over. And they're all great, swell people. And are you kidding me? I would have nothing negative are to say. Are they Cuban? No, stripes. It's fucking Lakeland. <laughs> this is the heart of like you know legit Florida. This isn't like it's Cuba, it, like Miami is. Are you kidding? Yeah. Let's continue this list because we need to try and make it through things. Number thirty-eight. If you need to get rid of an unwanted boner, flex your leg muscles as hard as you can for a minute. The blood will rush out of your dig dick j Yeah, spelled D-I-C-J, and your boner will go away. Spell it D-I-C-J, and your boner will go away. Ludicrous. I think I've heard this one before, and I'm not sure where. Number 37. Use two browsers on your phone. One safe for work. One that is a little hidden for not safe for work. That way you'll never panic while opening your browser in public. Aw. Who browses well, porn on their phone? That's stupid. I mean, a lot of people browse porn on their phone because, you know, sometimes you don't have time or the uh, the uh, privacy to do it on the computer. Sometimes well, whenever people go into the bathroom and they want to, maybe some people like make it a habit to shower or and, and like get off while they shower or you know what I mean? And sure. uh, they'll just use their phone, you know? And, you know, instead of maybe they don't have people to send them nudes or whatever, or they're not getting off to the news, just feel like a. I, I guess I'm the wrong person to ask, considering like. You I never only... leave your bed. 
No, because I only use my phone for that stupid game. Magikarp Jump. Yeah. Number 36. Yes. If you're spooning with a girl and trying to finger her, go in from the back instead of the front. Much easier access to her vagina that way. Her vagina. Instructions unclear. Got finger stuck in own ass. <laughs> Oh my god. Number 35, Kegels. They make sex better for everyone, regardless of which set of equipment you have. What's a Kegel? I don't know. Kegels make sex better if, I, if I'm a man and I do Kegels? How do I do Kegels? Kettlebells oh, too? Exercise? I need to get kettlebells then. Maybe I'll put kettlebells on... Um, you know what I have here? I have just like a bar with about um, with about 50 pounds on it. And the bar itself is 10 pounds, so that's 60 pounds. Um, and I also have a reflex bag that I use. How much is a kettlebell? What do I want, Stripes? Like a... I guess fast results is what you want. No, but I mean, like, what weight size do I want? What's weight? 20? Um, this is a 20-pound kettlebell. Oh, that's $20, though. It's like That's like a dollar a pound. I think you want a heavier one, don't you? I don't think I need a heavier one. 20 pounds is a lot. Is it? Probably not. But I, I think there's handles on my weights. I think I could just take my weights off of that bar and lift them up individually. Yeah. I don't think I need to worry so about this. you don't this. have to buy this then. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's a good thing none of these women, um, you know, are topless. Because then this video might have gone to hell. I, I googled diagonal lines. Why? I, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Kyle Google diagonal lines? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Number 34, you can make crack in a microwave oven. Crack in the oven, crack in the oven, microwave that crack. Microwave that crack. What the fuck? Can you make it without the risk of your house exploding? Can you make it without making crack? Kyle does not endorse anybody making crack. What the fuck is going on in your life if y'all making crack? D d listen, is somebody on drugs right now? If you are, leave the comment in the comment section below. Tell me what drugs you're on. You remember this dude named Rail Fanning who used to constantly come in and tell us what drugs he was doing as if it was going to give him credibility? And I used to try so hard to be a decent example in this kid's life and say, look, dude, that doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you noteworthy. It's not something that's going to make people. Oh, man. You know, I'm streaming again tonight. We're probably going to do it every night again. But th the Confession Podcast, man, they brought out some horrifying stuff. Oh, man. One of my favorite in recent memory was probably the Times I Almost Died one. That was really fun. That was a lot of fun. It was all drowning. A lot of people kept drowning. Yeah. And we were playing Abzu and nobody was like, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm having flashbacks. Look at the screen. No, man. It's pretty crazy. Number 33. Oh, write me a fucking novel, why don't you? <laughs> My dearest Redditors, prepare yourselves for a product that will change your life. Hair removal cream. If it doesn't give you a fucking rash, which it just for a lot of women, because not everybody's white and just doesn't have a reaction to anything anyway. That's for girls, you say. It'll burn your genitals, you say. Absolute nonsense, my good man. Get ready to upgrade your penis plan into a supersonic jet and deliver your payload with unproductive unprecedented vigor sorry stop rhyming what are you doing what are you doing kale are you all right <laughs> rap after this video if you want to what monorail oh <laughs> <laughs> wait wait yeah <laughs> were you sent here by the devil no good sir i'm on the level <laughs> oh man Take my pen knife, my good man your payload <laughs> with unprecedented efficiency we begin with generous servings of Nair Super Sensitive, other brands are available, to the underside of the penis and right around the anus, buttering up the bad boys along the way. Training time for you now. Trice... Sorry, my brain is, is rejecting this. I love it. Strike your best horse stance for 10 minutes with dangling pink creamy balls. Time is up. Into the shower you with you to wash away the residue in a ritual of masculinity. Taking a shower. Once the smoke and carnage of your watery transformation has subsided, you will be left with the aerodynamic athlete's testicles you have always dreamed of. Like a fighter jet, you can now go Mach 2 right into some consenting 
It's 2017, people. Pussy. He's assuming that everyone wants to have straight sex. Breaking the world record for love making. <laughs> the world is out. You're now the number one expert on sexual exploits in the galaxy. Your father is in a TV interview on the evening news. He's never been more proud of his son. You're awarded the highest honor in your country for exemplary service in the art of love making. Statues are built to you, and your new weapon of mass seduction. Alien races visit and do not annihilate us due to the superiority of your member. You're now the supreme leader of the galaxy, and a new golden age has dawned, and you are worshipped by your subjects far and wide. But you are a benevolent leader, and by your own admission, a mere mortal. That means it's time to take a shit. As you approach the bathroom, you realize something is afoot. While removing your ceremonial robes to reveal a ripped physique and your perfectly groomed genitals, you remember you had curry for the dinner last night. You've awoken the dragon, and Tariq's revenge is brewing in your digestive system to blitzkrieg your asshole. You endure the assault, struggling for breath as UN inspectors arrive on site to determine whether there has been a use of a banned chemical weapon. You emerge from a battle that has lasted a century, but you have safely ejected a mountain of shit to rival Kilimanjaro from your body. Beads of sweat trickle down your brow as your blood runs cold. It's cleanup time. You ordered a dumpster truck of a toilet roll and begin your laborious task. But what's this? You remember that your asshole is no longer held back by the petty shackles of human body hair. With the unshakable determination of a bomb disposal expert, you wipe twice and are met with a revelation. Your asshole is as clean as the day you were born. You emerge from the bathroom triumphant, meeting the applause of all your role models and the proposal by the girl of your dreams. You pause, confused and surprised. It is not the fanfare and celebration of your shitting prowess that shocks you, but a familiar face in the crowd. It's Nair Hair Removal Cream. It's been watching over you this whole time. You shed a single tear, a manly tear, and smile as Nair disappears into the crowd, safe in the knowledge that its mission is complete. And now the moral of the story, hair removal cream will change your life. Hail corporate. <laughs> that wasn't funny at all. Somebody else said, as someone who had an allergic reaction to Nair, I implore you to do a test patch far from your genitals first. It's funny that I said that because not everybody can get along with the hair removal cream. Sorry, I had to lean back from the microphone because I had to adjust my balls in my uh, in my shorts because they were really starting to get like, like squished. You know what I mean? Sorry. Sorry, it's like, I, I, maybe I should just take these pants off or something. That would be really I mean, ridiculous though. You, what? you live on your own. Why are you even wearing clothes? Number 32. Why was 31 deleted? Jesus. Make noise, assuming you can. Nothing is sexier than listening to someone in the throes of pleasure, and I can almost guarantee it'll get them so much hornier than they were. I love listening to my girlfriend come whenever we're fucking or just going down on her. She didn't think she'd like blowjobs before. Now she loves sucking my dick because she says it's hot as hell to hear how good it makes me feel. So yeah, be vocal. Okay. That sounds, that sounds kind of like, like a no-brainer, honestly. There are a lot of no-brainers that, you know, apparently you, you need to spell out for people in a very big way, in a very big way. Did I tell you that I want to live off of, like, Chicken Alfredo? Did someone buy you that yet? No, it's on the wish list, but I'm just saying, like, I want to, you know what I mean? It's like, a, it's like a thing that I want to happen. Is that, is that, that, is that gonna work out? No. It's just like, I don't think that's all the food groups right there. 
but they okay look there's like there's got to be like there's got to be like three food groups okay so um, let me name two of them chicken <laughs> alfredo right that's the pasta food group okay and yeah. then you got like uh like the cheese the cheese is a food group right I guess if you couple it with a smoothie, then yeah, it is all the food group. Fuck, it's, I got a drink. I got like a cranberry drink. That's like a fruit thing. That's like yeah, a right. fruit group. Yeah. Never mind. There you you go. got it all figured out. I got it all figured out. Oh my god. Fuck, what, there's a fly, fly in here. Yeah, I was going to say the flu in your throat. Oh, it didn't fly in my mouth. It's just here, and I don't like that. The f I remember I told you I had to change the doorknob on the front door, and ever since, it's, you know. I, there were two of them. I killed one, and the other one's like, "Here I am." <laughs> I used to bother a horse, but now, <laughs> but now, buzz. Okay, seriously. I hope, I hope there aren't horse flies where you live. I really do. They're awful. I mean, you know, that's the implication that it's huge because <laughs> I used to bother a fly. Number twenty-nine. Toilet paper before you poop prevents Poseidon's kiss. What's Poseidon's kiss? I don't think he should look that up. What? Okay, she's. I right. don't know what it is. She's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's totally right. So look, I'm opening a different. I'm opening a different. Oh my god. Okay, I think my body is having a reaction. <gasps> okay, let's look. Let's look together. Mm. Oh, dude, it's just Urban Dictionary, so we can go to Urban Dictionary. Poseidon's kiss. Okay, Poseidon's kiss, and then we go to Urban Dictionary. Okay. When you begin to shit in the toilet and the water splashes up and touches your butthole. Oh. Ew. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody said that, uh, um, there, no, what I'm saying is they're implying that you're supposed to lay it down on the actual, uh, water in the toilet, you know? And, That's uh, weird. Why? I don't like that. I don't like it either because I need my 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 turds to be fully submerged by the water as so I don't have to smell it. You know what I mean? One time I used a oh god, why are we going into this? It's a not what safe for work. Well, it's a not safe for work list. So guys, full disclosure: one time I was on a cruise, uh, the bathroom did it. You know, for whatever reason, it the toilet was situated in a way where it was a big toilet, but it like sloped down into the water which is wrong you need to just have a drop off and have the water be right deep you know what i mean so some of it like built on the side right where <laughs> it wasn't submerged and i just got a, a nose full of the the funk <laughs> who's got the funk in the bathroom you know what i mean like no 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 you got it all wrong and then worse there's like the smearing when you're when you're flushing it. <laughs> oh my god, number twenty eight, man. The Russian bride soak your hand. Did I ever tell you this one time? I did. I think I did. I told you this one time when I was in middle school. They called all of the boys down to the auditorium, and we swore it was going to be a sexual harassment, like uh, you know, assembly or something. But instead, stripes. What it was was what they had to inform us about something happening in the boys' bathroom. And they wanted to know which one of us, because they fucking knew it was one of us, uh, us little shits, smeared poop all over the walls in one of the brand new bathrooms in a new building that they built at the school. And all of us little middle school kids were like, we didn't do it. And everybody was asking questions and people were just like, can't you get that poop forensically tested or something? And then the teacher was like, you think this is funny? You think this is fun? I remember at one time uh, there were literally about seven kids up there just standing on the stage because, you know, they, they laughed and that was that was enough. That was enough to set the people off. But somebody uh, somebody used the phrase artwork. And I, I'll never forget how like hard I had to look straightforward you know because if i were to look at and catch the eye of any fucking boy in there we were gonna just explode and i remember looking at one of my friends named andres and his ears were so red you <laughs> knew that he was just holding in some of the dankest fucking pure laughter in the world and then and you know what i heard i heard a lot of breathing where it was like 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, people were really trying not to explode. They were just like, oh. <laughs> you never told me this story. Oh, well, there it is. Because, dude, <laughs> dude. And then when, when we got back, the craziest part was how when we got back, it was like we had been to a war. All of the girls were coming at me like, what the fuck happened? What happened? We were like, bro, no. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't need to know what happened. And then some of them wouldn't believe us. It was just like, somebody... Somebody smeared poop all over the walls of the bathroom. And they're like, come the fuck on. Tell us what really happened. And we're like, no, for real. Number 28, okay. The Russian bride. Soak your hand in ice water till it goes numb. Then rub one out. That's not the Russian bride. I, I think they call that like the... Oh, no. That's when you sit on your hand and then do that. I've never done that. Why would gonna... you need to... Why would I need to? I, I resent that comment, okay? <laughs> it's not like any horse riders are near me. Oh. Number 27. Pornography ha can be accessed for free on the internet. Wow. I didn't know this, Stripes. Number 26. If you're at a concert alone and want to get up front, buy two beers. People will let you in front of them if you think you're bringing, if they think you're bringing a beer to someone. Plus, you know, two beers. Better than one beer. How's that not safe for work? How? You're very right, Stripes. <laughs> you know, I was gonna, I was gonna drift right by that. Like, you can talk about beer at work. Is it like, uncool, so there isn't anything, there isn't a damn thing not safe for work about this post. You're very correct, and it slid right by me, man. Ugh, number 25. I was at the pornography store. I was buying pornography. <laughs> <laughs> number 25. Want a bigger dick? Lose some weight. The area around your ding dong has a pad of fat above it and thigh fat around it. I'm trying to lose weight. Jeez. Somebody said I actually have a good addition to this tip. I bet you do have an addition to the tip. If you get a fairly thick piercing in the tip of your dick and gradually add weight over time, I'm talking like 0.25 grams a week, very small amounts of the weight and add weights for maybe six to eight months, you'll eventually... <laughs> You'll eventually tear your dick off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that got me good. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Yeah, I expected it to be some kind of like grow your dick comment. And he's like, you'll eventually tear your dick off. Okay. Nice. You know, Loose. none of this is getting me Chinese food. We need to biggity bounce up out of this list. Okay, Stripes. And I know I'm, I'm sorry. I know that hurts you. I do this all for Griffin Gaw, but I have no way of knowing how. That he will listen to my video. Okay? Griffin Gall. Oh, wait. When are you going to upload that video you recorded this morning? I recorded a video this morning? Yeah, a poem. Oh, no. That wasn't for the channel. That was like a little, uh, I don't know. That was just like a, a, a thing of mine. And I'm not done with it. It's a very long poem. Mm. It, it's by Edgar Allan Poe. Number 24. You, wait, so are you not going to upload it in channel and maybe just throw it on Patreon maybe or what? I'll upload it on the channel. Speaking of the Patreon, I have modified the level 5 tier. Um, so that, um, before, people who uh, gave $5 a month were, I was giving them like 150 to 175, uh, um, 175 words or less. You know, like I would read something for them. Now I'm making it so like you can also request a song cover for five bucks, you know. So there's that. Since somebody already did request a song cover, but it's one of those songs from Steven Universe that's like, oh, no, not that one. And I'm going to see if that's what he really wants. If it's what he really wants, we'll move forward. But woo, otherwise, it's going to be a private song for him, my baby. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Number 24, grapefruiting your man. Oh, my God. What? You don't know? What does that mean? You don't know? What's grapefruiting? You don't know. Why would you put... That sounds like it's sting. You don't know. What? This woman and the grapefruit. 
What is she doing with the grapefruit? Okay, Stripes, if you've never seen the video, we can watch the video after. Everybody else, if you haven't seen the video, type it into YouTube. Treat yourself. You know what I'm talking about? And that woman is really just on that. <laughs> How the fuck does she make all that noise? It's fucking disgusting and scary. But we'll watch it after. Okay, Stripes? Grapefruit your man. Number 24. Wow. Number 23, pee after sex. It'll help prevent a urinary tract infection. Ain't that the truth? Remember to pee after sex, guys. Wait, you should like specify that this is true for men and women. Cause like a lot of people think it's just for women, but it's not. You know what a lot of people think is just for, for Kyle? Chicken Alfredo, and they're right. So if you have some and you think it's yours, you better send that to me. Oh, you should talk about the, the gift package you got. I can't. That has to be a separate thing. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, Stripes? Bye. See your way out of the room right now. I want you to get up and open that door and then close it like you're walking out. That's the bit that I want right now. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute. Aw, oh, Stripes, come back. <laughs> Oh my god, and then that really, the door noise really made it. That was my jam. Oh man, and then she was like, okay. <laughs> so Stripes, you ready? She really, she really is going to pretend like she left. Get in here, Stripes. <laughs> Number 22. When she's begging you to put it in, tease her just a little bit before you do. Then, when she can't take it anymore, stick it, and you'll both be glad you waited. More like know the best moment for insertion. This can be great, but if you're taking too long, I'm slamming my pelvis on you full force. More so out of angry frustration than, than give it to me, baby. And all the girlies said, I'm pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I could. Oh, man. That'd be a cool song to cover. Number 21. Legs up missionary. Oh, yeah. You got to put your legs up, ladies. And by put your legs up, I mean, let me just bend those over you. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I didn't think you did. I didn't think you did. Oh my gosh. Number 20. Devour your offspring for an energy boost to get through a harsh winter. Oh my gosh. It's not your offspring. It's their offspring. Unless you're talking about eating your own cum. Ew. I thought, I thought she meant eating old babies. Don't hamsters do that? Don't bears do that? Well, yeah, that's the joke, Stripes. Look, if you miss your ex and are thinking about contacting them again, masturbate. You'll feel better afterward and realize that you were just horny and lonely. It, to be honest, this is called coming to your senses, guys, and you guys should do it way more often, you know? Sometimes I harass people in the early morning hours, and I can't do that. I mean, not now, but I used to. But you didn't have to cut me out. Make out like it wasn't horny and that I was lonely. But I didn't even need your love. I just wanted your attention and some titties, please, yeah. I want you take me to. <laughs> Sorry. Funky Town Stripes. Tell me that's an actual remix. No. Should no? I make it one? Yes. Wait, uh -huh. you don't know how to mix music. I do, I just don't have the patience for it. I don't have the patience for a lot of things. It's getting pretty out of hand, isn't it? But I have to start having the patience for things because I need to start auditioning for more audiobooks, and I'm going to do that today. But I want to stream as well, so we got to make time. And this is extra list is for Griffin Gaw. I just hope Griffin Gaw appreciates it because he did donate, you know? I do love my patrons, so this is also for them because I know they like extra lists. But they're also requesting very specific things, so I'm going to have to be looking up lists about narcissism. And I'm going to be looking up lists about forest stories. Not lists, maybe uh, stories. We've, we've done one about that. Forests. Hold on. You, you don't remember the homeless ninjas? Oh, it's raining real hard. I was wondering what that noise was behind me. Can you hear that? Listen. Can you hear that? 
Oh, I thought that was you moving it. Yeah, I can hear the rain. It's pretty intense. I don't feel a thing, and I stopped remembering. Days are just like moments turn to hours. Mother Did you set used up? to say, if you want, you'll find a way. But mother never danced too far. Sorry, that's a song from Cowboy Bebop called Walk in the Rain. Who's in the mood for that? Who got that reference? You got that reference? Tell me about it in the comment section below because I'm pissing people off just to have something that you and I can share, just to have a connection with you. I love Thank you. you. <laughs> Stripes. Oh my God. Number 18. It seems like a lot of people don't know how to do it right. If you're choking your partner, squeeze on the sides, not on the throat. The sensation is caused by lack of blood flow to the head. Whereas if you squeeze the throat, you're restricting the air and likely injuring their throat. You're not trying to kill anybody out here. You're trying to asphyxiate them. Auto erratic style. Opa Gangnam style. Oh my God. Number 17. If you have big boobs, lean over after putting a bra on and pull them up they'll sit better and it'll help you feel better okay if you don't have booze make sure you watch this procedure closely it's awesome somebody said the, the old, old scoop and swoop <laughs> the old dangle and wrangle Number 16, relax your thighs to last longer. Okay. Number 15, always use proper lube. Seriously, girls can be horny but not wet. Just like they can be wet but not horny. Look, if you wet girl, you want it. You want it, girl. I'm kidding. <laughs> so tell creepy. me more about these rape fantasies, Gillian. Shut up. Somebody responds, let me tell you. It's not a fantasy, it's role play, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you. I, wait, I remember you very specifically you telling me that all Japanese girls always sound like they're getting raped. And that's why that's why sex with them is so great. What? Okay. okay. Don't say okay like that. Okay. I haven't fucked a Japanese girl. What? You seem like like I love it. I love it. She, Stripes Stripes always makes it seem like she's just compiling evidence for a court case that'll never come with Gael. Compiling evidence for a court case that'll never come. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah, you know, my dad is a lawyer and the best lawyer in the county. My dad is a love. My dad owns this dealership. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else responds, let me tell you, coconut oil is where it's at for lube. Not, I repeat, not if you use condoms. It's cheap, never gets sticky, washes out of the sheets, and is actually good for your skin. I've heard this, but I've been hesitant to actually use it. Is it okay inside your vagina? Somebody else said, I wanted to do this, but my girlfriend had a weird smell association with it. Her dad always used it for cooking in the morning, so her brain associated that smell with her dad making scrambled eggs. Her dad will scramble your eggs with a little bit of coconut oil on his dick when he shoves it in your pussy and gets that, that sperm up to that egg inside you. Wait a minute now. How you like your eggs? Fry to fertilize. Fry to, fry to. Fried up for the last, sorry. Queen loves that song, Stripes. Queen really loves that song. I have to send I have to take a picture for her. She's not gonna believe that the stupid thing came up in the middle of a list. Okay. But it didn't. It did. Brought, not the song. You brought up the song. Oh, That's wait. a song. There it is. I see the comment that says it. I really don't like the smell of coconuts, though, so I guess it's not for me. I wish I played more Pokemon Go before the Solstice event ended. But who do I have to care about Pokemon Go with me? Number 14. Get down on her to ensure that she comes first. Shows that you're a good and conscientious lover, and then you don't have to feel bad if you come super fast like I do sometimes. Well... 
Um, as long as you guys stay, like, if you come super fast, there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I mean? It's not like you're just premature. Maybe you're super into her, and, like, she really does it for you, and that's a good thing. Or he does it for you, depending on what's really going on. But, guys, as long as you remember that they exist, too, and that they need to get their rocks off, and don't just stop as soon as you've gotten off, then you're always going to be all right. Another thing that really helps is if you're like me, and you just tried your best to take a long time to get there, or maybe you naturally just take a long time to get there, because for me... What I almost always need is the uh, stimulation of them getting there to get there as well. You know what I'm talking about? Yoda taught me that. Yoda. Star Trek. You know. Star Trek and the Half-Blood Prince. Star Trek. That's hilarious. What's wrong with the mouse? It's all jiggling all over the screen and shit. I hope the power doesn't go out because then I'd lose connection to the internet. We should finish this because it's raining. Number 13, stick two warm, damp sponges in a plastic cup or mug and they'll fit. Oh my God. I just realized where this is going. Do you? Start over. Stick two warm, damp sponges in a plastic cup or mug that they'll pretty much fit tight into. Put a rubber glove in between them. Roll the glove open over the top of the mug, lube it up, fuck it, then toss the glove out. Ugh. Someone said, finally, one for the average Reddit user. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought, I thought it was going like you put a sponge in your pussy, but that's not what happens. I think that may be our stripes comment of the day. And uh, I'm going to need to get a sound effect associated with that. Okay, stripes. Why? <laughs> because it's, it's necessary. It is necessary. Number 11. Do you understand where you're getting it? That no. it grows inside? <laughs> Number 11, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she does not get to do this to me. <laughs> Number eleven. <laughs> if you if you back up the toilet at work or someone or someone's house with no plunger available, look for liquid hand soap. I've heard this one too. Yeah, we heard this one too. Dump some in the toilet and wait about five minutes and flush it again. The soap lubricates the nasty, so they'll flush away. If it's clogged. Find a way to dump hot water in the toilet, and it can have the same effect. Use the trash can or something. If it's still clogged, kick the door open and run like hell. Find a new job or new friends. You just left their toilet full of hot soapy shit soup, you asshole. Somebody said source from another. So he we would he had to edit it and say from another ask Reddit thread because yeah. people would say, "I feel like I've read this before." I wanted I want somebody saying that I've read this before. You stole this from somebody. I forgot who, but for a fact, it, he was another Ask Reddit thread. Somebody said, you aren't crazy. You bitch. You better edit your post, you karma-stealing cuck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Number 10. This guy's a phony. <laughs> if you are 100% that you know you're going to have sense, sex. There's no reason for you to smell bad or not clean down there, for sure. They sell individually wrapped baby wipes in the tampon pad aisle. Get them and bring them with you. Go to the bathroom before the action starts and use it. Man, even like you should be showering and really getting soapy and shampooy and all kind of stuff going on down there before you, you know, look forward to monkey ball. And, and uh, yeah, if you're the type that works up such a profound funk, then yeah, travel with wipes, whatever it takes. Okay, wait, but some people only wash there and you got to remember you got to smell good all over because it ain't fun. Number nine. Dudes, <laughs> sorry. Every time you pee, squeeze the tip of your penis so that your urethra widens. This ensures that no random streams hit the floor. Put a piece of your folded toilet paper in the water first and aim for that. Splash gets absorbed by the paper and you didn't get any sprinkles around the toilet. Your bathroom will stay cleaner much longer. Close the lid when you flush 
for additional sprinkle deterrence. You should always be closing the lid when you flush, otherwise you're sending shit particles up in the fucking air. Guys, never leave the toilet seat up when you're flushing after a shit, because just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not sending fecal particles up into the freaking air that are done raining down mist style to coat everything in the bathroom. You know what you keep in the fucking bathroom? Your typically exposed toothbrush, okay? So you are shitting in the bathroom, flushing the toilet, sending that, that microscopic shit up into the fucking sky, having it land on your toothbrush, putting your toothbrush in your mouth, Bro, in your fucking mouth, and then getting it all over them, tweaking there. You know what I'm talking about? What the fuck are you doing, son? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wet up my toothbrush in the morning. That'll get all the shit off of it. Nah, son, it won't. And the shit's all over the place, son. And you're touching that stuff, son. Please, okay. On my Amazon wish list right now, okay. Okay. What? You're just reminding me that you should, you should add one of those, um, one of those mechanical dart toothbrushes. Targets. No, dart tri targets that go in the toilet. I'm taking the mechanical toothbrush off of my wish list because I don't want somebody to get it when in reality what I want is that is, is this chicken alfredo. You know, you want to know the only reason I have a blender on my wish list is because I know it's part of uh, what I need to make caramel fraps. I want to make frappuccinos now and I feel like I have the, the tools to do it. I, I have it, Stripes. How about you just take out everything? Do I need a good blender to make fraps? Blender. No. You tell me. Wait. Do you have uh, Oh shit, this one's uh this one's thirty four dollars. Is this better? Yeah, don't you have a fruit ninja already? I had a fruit ninja at the other house, stripes. Mm -hmm. What if I just type in What what kitchen supplies did you get to keep? I had a shitload of kitchen supplies that subscribers had already sent me. I had like a waffle winker and a George Foreman grill. I had a sandwich press. I had a toaster oven. I had a deep fryer. You name it, I had it. I had a lot of appliances. Um, but I ironically didn't have a blender because I wasn't getting fucking married. So, oh. you know. Not yet. Did you just say not yet, Stripes? Who, the, who the hell would I get married to? Do you think that I'm just going to be pumping babies into somebody? Get fucking real. Number eight. Anytime you're feeling like making an impulse purchase, jerk off first and see how you feel after. Now that's what I'm talking about. Somebody Come said, do don't yourself. do this in a public shopping center. Don't do it <laughs> like I did. Don't do it. <laughs> Number seven. Read the edit at the bottom for fuck's sake. Fuck you if you mention a bidet after it's been posted a thousand times already. This is all edits, though. I don't. I they don't put understand. they put the edit at the top. Anyway, oh. somebody said coordinate. Take a dump first, then shower. Clean ass all the time. Wait, a bidet is that Look, thing that's for... Yeah. Listen, we already talked about shit this list. Okay, so we might as Stop. well... We might as well get into it. I'm the type of person that when I use the bathroom, sometimes I wipe even after I don't get any uh, residue on the paper. Because I don't like the idea of an ass that is hiding something that can then, over the course of the day, produce a smell. It's the nightmare that I have. It's kind of it's it's pretty much it's, it's pretty much identical to the people having bad breath phobia, having bad breath even though they you know don't. Wait, stripes. I think her, I think one of her parents walked in. This ought to be really good. I think I think stripes. Look, I'm going to type blender, but then I'm going to put frappuccino. Is that how you spell that? Frappuccino. Why the fuck does it need to be that intense? I guess it does need to be an intense blender. I think the one I had on there is fine. Look, somebody came in with stripes. Sorry. There's Griffin. What? What? Why are you sorry? What happened? Um, my, older sister, my older sister barged in to steal some old Converse because she doesn't have shoes. 
why are you both the same size shoe? We aren't. And I said that to her, but she took them anyway, so I guess it's her problem. Why are people taking your shoes? I don't... I'm, I'm the one with the biggest feet in this family, honestly, aside from my brother. Did you my say bigger... Did you say older sister? That's the car accident sister? Yes. Man, what happened to that cute twin sister you got? Where she messing her head? No, I'm tagging him Guys, did you know that uh, Stripes has a twin sister who's tried to murder her on several occasions? Number six, if you have to get blood out of something, use hydrogen peroxide and rinse with cold water. Repeat as needed, even works on white sheets. I learned this when I was younger and had a lot Wait, of blood. Wait, were there blood on your sheets? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Stripes. Everybody lived, everybody was happy. Okay? Everybody lives. Somebody responds, Jesus, I thought this was get blood out of, meaning extract from a person. And somebody else Wait. said, so I shouldn't inject hydrogen peroxide in an unwanted erection? <laughs> oh, my God. Number five, warm water get... doesn't clean up cum as good as cold water. Interesting. Did I ever get uh, no blood on your sheets? I don't know. <laughs> But you nosebleed all over the place, so who knows? I only nosebleed once in your in your place, but I don't remember. Nah, you're probably What? I think somebody came in again. This is hilarious. Nobody no. came in again. What? Nobody came in. You're cutting off really abruptly and it's weird. Look, number four, if you nap between faps, you can fap twice as much. What? Oh, their username is Fap Nap Fap. But is there truth to it? Shut up, Stripes. Number three, whenever you walk around the office, always carry a folder with you. That way, if you're slacking around, you will look busy. That's not a safer uh -oh. work. Yes, it is. Nah, because he's... if you tell your boss, you probably get fired. Yup, this not... works like a charm. Learn that in the army. If you have a clipboard and look like you're in a hurry in the morning, nobody will bother you all day. Ain't nobody bothering clipboard guy. Number two, <laughs> if you get this, if you get hair on your tongue while eating her out, sensually lick her inner thigh to get rid of the hair. The inner thigh is an erogenous. Engorgeous? There's a, yep. yep. Engorge. Engorge. <laughs> Say it again, Stripes. Engorge. No, Stripes, no. Come on. Erogenous. Erogenous. It's closer Ero to that than it engorge, Stripes. It's closer to that. Erogenous. erogenous. I knew it. I said it along with it, and it was erogenous. Why didn't. Uh, sensitive to sexual stimulation. Erogenous. Erogenous. Like it's a dinosaur. <laughs> like it's a, a period in, in our development. Is that for people that don't look like men or women? Sounds like that. Androgynous. Word. Yes. Sorry. Number one. If you accidentally spill your 7-Eleven Big Gulp on a Sears mannequin, they have to throw it in the dumpster out back and you get a chance to fuck it. But that chance is slim, apparently. I like I like that you get a chance to fuck. <laughs> you can't take it with you. Like, well, I guess you couldn't. They'd see you. They'd if see if you, you accidentally, in quotes. Wow. I guess there's no safe way to load it into your car. They didn't say the life hacks had to be for everyone. Oh, my God. But then you'd have to, like, stoke around the place until they find out that it's messed up. Griffin Gaw, I love you for your contribution. Thank you. You requested a stripes list. Here it is, a bonus list today. I'd like to personally thank my patrons again. Hope, Sean, Frankie, Mavarakis, Luke, Eric, Patricia, P Proper, and Michael Nuding himself. Oh, my God. I shouldn't be using his name. But Lexeus is the chosen one 
And guys, wait, a special wait, 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 wait. Uh, a special well wish to to Hope because she recently had surgery and is now doing way better and I'm glad for her and I hope that it just keeps getting better for her. Um, favorite favorite bathroom sign. Whatever, just wash your hands. It's a it's a centaur and a mermaid. <laughs> Why doesn't the mermaid? What? I guess the mermaid shouldn't have boobs if they're trying to get that point across. But I want her to have boobs. I've really got to do something for sweets. Wait, what did they change? Something really sweet Uh, from Japan, and I need to make a video for her. Hey, look at this cute little flower girl dress. So what's on your mind, Stripes? Did you enjoy participating in this list? Ooh, watch people die. Kid died later in the hospital after falling under truck wheels. Ooh. I'm still wondering about the grapefruit, honestly. Should I play Kingdom Hearts tonight? No. No? So you're not about Kingdom Hearts? Not not interesting, huh? What should I play? Sir, Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Simulator. Sergeant Simulator. All right, maggots! <laughs> you better get in line, damn it! Oh, I got a low score. <laughs> Sergeant Simulator. You were too soft. Though. How does she fucking do it? How does she end the video so well every fucking time? Guys, I'll see you guys later. Sergeant Simulator. What the fuck? Tonight. <laughs>